Hi and happy holidays. I'm Jean-Pierre Nags, chef owner of the Bijou Cafe in beautiful downtown Sarasota. And I'm here to share some holiday recipes with you. I was born in South Africa where we don't have Thanksgiving. So when we came to this country, we, my mom had to learn to make some of the dishes that we're all used to. One of the best things that she came up with was this recipe I'm gonna share with you today for a sweet potato casserole with cranberry sauce and pecans. It's absolutely delicious. So here we have four sweet potatoes, about average size sweet potatoes, peeled and boiled for about half an hour. Okay, now I've added the sweet potatoes too to make sure it's an oven-proof casserole. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce that uh, covers the sweet potatoes. We're gonna add about a cup of uh, fresh squeezed orange juice. And then if you are using fresh oranges, you can also add a little bit of the uh, peel, uh, just a little zest. Make sure you don't get the white part of the orange. The orange juice has come to a boil. Just gonna thicken it up a little bit, give it a sauce consistency with the cornstarch and water. Cook it just for a few minutes to get the, the taste of the cornstarch or flour out of it. We're just gonna pour this right over the, the sweet potatoes, making sure that they're all covered. And one thing that's really important in this is that your dish is deep enough because you don't want it boiling over in your oven. It'll make a mess. Now we're gonna do the topping, which consists of one stick of butter. That's about eight tablespoons full. About one cup of homemade cranberry sauce. One cup of light brown sugar. And when you measure that, don't pack it in because it makes a big difference if you have too much sugar. And one cup of chopped pecans. Now we're gonna mix this together gently, making sure that the butter is uh, well broken up into the sugar and the cranberry, but still keeping it kind of rough, not, 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 a, real, not a smooth paste. Now we put the topping on top of the potatoes. Now it's ready to go into the oven at three, a preheated oven, 350 degrees for about half an hour. Now, while the potatoes are in the oven cooking, uh, let's uh, do something really quick with asparagus. Jacques Patin, the famous French chef, showed me this at a class that I took with him once. So we have, for one bunch of asparagus, which should feed about six or seven people, two shallots, average size. Uh, you don't need to chop them real fine, just a nice slice. And then we're gonna add some olive oil to our pan. Start with our shallots. Here's the secret with the asparagus. Don't have to worry about cutting the ends off because you're only gonna get the top tender part. And you're gonna cut them on the bias, about an inch long. As soon as you get to this part here, it starts being a little tough. Move it up a bit and voila. Add the asparagus to the simmering shallots and olive oil. A little fresh sea salt. A grind of fresh black pepper and voila and give it a shake or two to make sure that it's cooking evenly. And there you are, sauteed asparagus. Okay, and now the potatoes should be just about done. And there's, there they are. And voila, there's mom's famous sweet potato casserole. It's very, very hot now because of that sugar in there, so you don't want to touch it for at least 15 minutes. So there you are, quick sauteed asparagus and my mom's sweet potato casserole. And thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I would also like to send a special thanks to the USF Sarasota Manatee Culinary Innovation Lab, and of course, to the Sarasota Manatee Originals. And happy holidays. <laughs>